Well, hello, Shoreline Church. This is your, uh, your devotional for Thursday, June 11th. Uh, we're looking at Psalm 116, the first nine verses. And I want you to listen to these words and just kind of quiet your heart down and let the Holy Spirit speak to you. So, Psalm 116, beginning in verse 1. I love the Lord. What a great start for a psalm. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I overcame my distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Boy, this, this psalm could be a whole sermon, an hour-long sermon, but I want to just address a couple things that kind of come out of this psalm that just speak to our hearts. First is this, God is listening. He is listening to you right now, whatever your cry whatever your need, if you're struggling with health challenges, if you're struggling with our economy right now, if you're struggling with the conflicts that are happening and, and have been happening around our world and around our country, cry out to God. He's listening. Tell him what's on your heart. If you're afraid, tell him you're afraid. If, if, you, if, you, if you're anxious, tell him you're anxious and ask for his peace. If you're confused, ask for his clarity, but know that God is listening. And then, and then the psalmist talks about anguish and entanglement and just a difficult time. And God knows what you're going through. I, I think it's almost, uh, almost humorous sometimes where we kind of keep our stuff inside and don't talk to God about our struggles as if he doesn't know. He knows the anguish that you feel. He knows the struggles that you're facing. So bring them to him and set them at his feet. And then the psalmist has this beautiful declaration. The Lord saves whatever you're going through. Remember, it's God who saves. We can work hard towards things. We can look to different people and institutions to try to help us. But at the end of the day, the one who saves is the God Almighty who made us, who loves us, and who rules heaven and earth. He's the one who saves in this moment, and he's the one who saves eternally. And then we're, then we're reminded that he's gracious and righteous and compassionate and our protector. Know that when you draw near to God, he is a God of grace. He is a God of righteousness. He is a God of compassion for us. He is a God of deliverance. So come to God and know that he is a God whose character has been proven again and again and again to you. He delivers so we can walk in his joy. So I want to pray with you and just ask that we would experience God as he is, that we would cry out to him, know we can draw near and see him do miracles in our lives. God, that's our prayer, that we would know that we can come to you with whatever's in our mind, with whatever's in our heart, with whatever struggle we have, with whatever joy we have, that we would lay it before you. And then, God, we would know that you hear our cries, you hear our prayers, you're waiting for us to speak to you, and you want to speak back to us. And then, Lord, remind us that you are the God who saves, the compassionate, loving, merciful God. So, Lord, save us from our troubles right now, and, Lord, in Jesus Christ, we thank you that you have saved us for eternity. As we, as we finish up uh, this week and as we walk into the next week, Lord Jesus, will you lead us every step of the way? We pray this in your name and for your glory. Amen. Well, hey, today you're going to get an update on what's happening for our first gathered worship service that's coming up this Sunday. We're still going to have three online services, 8.30, 10 o'clock, 11.30. They're going to be high quality, excellent, but we're also going to have one live service, if the weather permits, at 9.30 in the courtyard at Shoreline. You have to go online and register for a spot, so we have a spot saved for you. We'll be following all the protocols the government's given us, but you'll, we'll give more details right now following me. Someone's going to give you all the details, so stay tuned. Well, hello, Shoreline. It is Thursday, and we are excited. We are, as you can see what's going on behind me, we are anxious for you and your guests to join us this Sunday for our first ever outdoor service here in the courtyard area on Shoreline's campus. We're so excited, and I just wanted to share with you kind of what I'm going to call the ABCs of what you need to know for Sunday in advance if you have made the decision to come and worship with us on campus, whether it's at the 930 service or the 1130 service. First, the A. A is advanced registration. I can't stress that enough, that 
we need you to go online, to go onto our website and register in advance. Register for the number of guests that you will be bringing with you on Sunday. That's both at the 9.30 and the 11.30 service. The reason is because we are actually assigning seating. We are gonna assign you spaces in the courtyard so that you have adequate space for social distance between you and the parties next to you. So again, advanced registration, absolutely essential. And our advanced registration will end today. We have to cut it off at some point so we can begin to assign seating. Today at five o'clock, we're gonna cut off our advanced registration. So please register in advance. The other A is the app, the Shoreline app. I wanna just encourage you before you come on Sunday to take some time and download the Shoreline app because on the app, you're gonna find the sermon notes. You're gonna find the song lyrics, the lyrics that uh, for the songs we'll be singing on Sunday, as well as other aspects of our Sunday service you will find on your app. So take the time to download the Shoreline app in advance of your arrival on Sunday. The B, what can I bring? What should I bring to the services on, on Sunday? First and foremost, as we all know, this part of history, don't forget your face covering because we're gonna ask you to wear your face coverings as you move to and from your seat. So as you're entering into the parking lot, as you exit your vehicle, as you move up into your seating area, we're gonna ask you to wear your face covering. And then once you get to your seat, you can take it off. Of course, as Pastor Kevin said last week, if you're gonna sing in a robust manner, we're gonna ask you to wear your face covering. And then when the services are over and you move back to your vehicles or you depart the campus, we're gonna ask you to wear that face covering again. So don't forget to bring your face covering. As well as we want you to bring your confirmation email. So whether you print out or whether you uh, bring it on your phone, that email that you receive from Shoreline when you register, please bring that as well. Well, where am I gonna sit? Well, as we, we want to have a, you have a very comfortable seat. We're gonna ask you to bring your own chairs because we're not gonna have chairs here for you. Instead, we've got carpet spaces that'll be laid out for your group and that's where you can place your chairs. So bring your chairs as well as bring your own apparel. As you know, on Sunday, it could be 60 degrees and beautiful or it could be 50 degrees and a little bit foggy and cool. So we live in Monterey. We know how to dress appropriately, so bring the appropriate apparel, and as well, of course, bring your blankets. You may need a blanket depending on the weather. We also know that it can be sunny, so we wanna encourage you to wear sunscreen, bring your sunscreen, and even a wide brim hat if needed. And then lastly, we're, we're not gonna be serving hospitality. Uh, we're not gonna have the donuts and the, the coffee that Shoreline usually has. So we encourage you to bring your own. So treat yourself on that Sunday, bring your best coffee, bring, your, bring a donut if you'd like. We're gonna let you bring your own food and beverage for that morning. What's not to bring? Well, what should I not bring? We're gonna ask you, uh, if you love to sit in the sun or love to sit outside with an umbrella on Sunday, we're gonna ask you to leave your umbrella home. If it's raining, We'll let you know we probably won't have services outdoors, but the umbrella, we don't wanna block anybody else's view. So we're gonna honor those around us as we worship God. So don't bring that umbrella. And also because here on Shoreline on our campus, uh, we, we don't want to have uh, any problems with uh, folks who decide to bring pets. We're gonna ask you to leave your pets at home. Of course, service dogs um, are authorized here on the Shoreline campus. So if you have a service dog, we don't want you to feel you can't come you are welcome to come if you have a service dog. But as far as your pets, leave that precious puppy, leave that precious kitty at home, and we'll look forward to seeing you and your family and friends on Sunday. For a full list of all the other items that we wanna encourage you to think about before coming to bring, please refer to our website, contact us at Shoreline, info at Shoreline, and we'll let you know more on that as well. The C, the last thing, C, I'm gonna encourage you to come early. Come early because we are asking, we're gonna open up our registration, our check-in stations 30 minutes prior to the service time. So if you come early, you'll, be, uh, you'll find a, a better parking spot and you'll also have ample time to check in and then our escorts will move you to your seating area and they'll put you the, the spots where you've already pre-registered for. So come early. As well as I'm gonna encourage you to come expectantly. Come expecting for God to move. This is a historic moment for Shoreline Church. I mean, who would have ever thought 25 years ago, Shoreline Church started. And when Shoreline first moved into the campus here at 2500 Garden Road, they held services outdoors in a tent. 
Well, here we are. And look at God has blessed us with this beautiful courtyard. So will you come expectantly, come expecting that God is gonna move in the hearts of all who come. God's gonna move in your heart and God is gonna move through Shoreline Church in this season and for the years to come. And then lastly, will you commit to prayer? See, commit to prayer. Will you be in prayer? Prayer for our services, prayer for all the planning and all the advanced work that's going on both today and in the days leading up to the services. And will you commit to pray for Pastor Kevin as he brings the message, message number two in the book series, as well as will you commit to pray that it will be just an amazing day of worship. Again, we're so thankful you're coming. And of course, we're gonna offer our three online services. And for some of you, you're not quite ready yet to, to come back to campus and gather here on campus. That is okay. We want you to know that there are options for you to worship both on campus and online. So God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. And we are excited to see you on Sunday.